All right, so we are upstairs. I'm gonna power on the system. So what we have upstairs here to run sound for this building is a 40 channel Allen and Heath mixer. It's actually what we used to have next door before we went digital. It is extremely powerful and totally overkill for what we're doing here but we had it on hand and it, it is a fantastic sounding mixer. So this is a very traditional big analog mixer. So you remember on stage I told you that you, we plugged our mics into those patch panels. Well all that wiring comes out underneath here into that rat's nest <laughs> <laughs> and comes up here and is plugged into single channels in the mixer from behind. This mixer has all of its inputs over here on the back. You'll see some with them on the top and you'll see some with them on the back. And uh, so what we do is we have either each mic coming from the stage, you can see where I've got some of them labeled here, plugged into a single channel. And so when you look at a mixer like this, this whole line of items right here are all associated with each other. So on the back we bring a microphone into this channel and what this first thing here is is the gain for the preamp. We have to take that really low level signal from the microphone and boost it to where it's usable. So we have an adjustable preamp right here. We can just, we call it gain. How much gain is on it? How much is it going to boost that signal? Coming out of there we have equalization. High high mids, low mids, and lows. So we can really have a lot of room to tweak. So we bring it in and boost the signal and then we shape it. Now after that these are called sends. So that whoever's on stage can hear what they want to hear, I can control how much of what they are doing goes through those speakers on the floor separately from the main systems. The two floor monitors. Right, the floor monitors but these are called aux sends and what they do is they take a copy of the signal in this channel and send it off to another location in the mixer. It's real easy to think of a mixer like this as all the signal goes in and then comes out those two main speakers. What a mixer, especially a good one like this is, is it's more like eight or nine mixers in one. Along with the main stuff where you're sending out to your main left right channels and you're doing your main sound, it has a whole bunch of separate little mixes in it that you can do to send like for the monitor mixes for the performer to hear. We also have a reverb unit that we send to for this. So you're taking the signal at this point and sending it to multiple locations. But for your main mix, for the main place we're going, that's all on the faders here. Which is usually, you know, the first thing that makes sense to people. It controls the volume. I was gonna say that's just your basic volume. That's your basic volume in the house. All right. Um, there's your stereo left right. We are set up stereo here, but we generally run everything down the middle. Okay. Uh, in the big room, I pan some things around. Uh, there's more advanced functionality than this in here, but I'll save that for later. What we do have is I have this set up in a way that you can control those the overall volume of that floor monitor from that fader. There's your main left right into the room, so you can control your overall volume there. Now also feeding into these are wireless mics like the minister who's speaking, um, whoever's praying, things like that. Then you look in this rack too, we've got tape decks, CD players, mini disc player. They all feed into channels here on the system along with the computer and the DVD players. Now you know I was talking about those extra mixes you can do where you can create copies of the signal. We actually do an extra mix on one of these auxes that goes out of an output here and gets fed to our video recording system, which I don't have on right now. Uh, but they do a full recording of the service, and what they do is they take a copy of our mix, but instead of taking the main one, they get us to do a custom one for them so that, it's, so that the things that need to be heard are heard. Now, after the signal leaves this mixer, it comes over to the rack here, and the first place it goes is this unit. Now a lot of older systems you would see like the signal go into like a graphic equalizer. 
you know, something to give you the ability to shape the sound in the house. We're using stuff like this now that's called a system controller. And it's got equalization, compression, just full control of the sound in here. Way, we have advanced, very minute control. And it also has built-in feedback prevention where it'll detect feedback signals and use an EQ to cut out the frequency that's feeding back. So we run through this. After it leaves here, this is for the mains. This is for those uh, that floor monitor and that overhead monitor I showed you. It goes to the amplifiers. So you can splice audio? Uh, you can do a lot. But it goes from here down to these amplifiers. Now these amplifiers are what run to those speakers up there. One amp runs those overhead stage monitors and those floor monitors I showed you. And the other runs those other two house speakers. But again, we've got wiring running from up there to back here to give us signal here. And then we're running stuff back. Now, the whole point of this is to take that low-level mic signal from a person talking on stage and shape it so it sounds good and then raise it to a level that everybody can hear. We're in the sound, in a room like this, we're really in what's called the sound reinforcement world where we're taking the voice coming off the stage because you can still hear some of that and we're reinforcing it in the room. In the other room, because it's so big, we're pure PA. I mean, we're, we're going right over the top of everything. Where here, you have to be careful not to mess up the natural sound of the room. You heard all that reverb when I was up there yeah. talking. Uh, by the way, speaking of reverb, we do have a reverb unit over here. Um, the preset I have on here is just very delicate and, and very far in the background. Just help add some body to the voice. But we could add echo. We could add whatever we wanted.